Hi gang, it's Eric, AC9BX. If you're anything like me, you probably have a stash of old wall wart power packs from retired cell phones or internet routers and whatnot, um, thinking that you'll put one to use someday. And you might, the connectors never fit what you need, but I found a use and we'll have to change the connector. So, when Radio Shack stores were closing, I picked up their weather radio on clearance for $5. I grabbed three or four of them. Uh, these are originally something like 50 bucks, so I'll take it. This is a very nice weather radio, uh, portable uh, and weather resistant. Who would have thought a weather resistant weather radio? How about that? Um, and the neat thing is you can use and you should use rechargeable batteries. There's a switch inside to change between alkaline and rechargeable. Uh, these are affordable 10 energy. They work great. The radio will run for about three days. Um, and maybe you might get four or five days out of the alkaline. That's a lot of battery changing. So rechargeables is definitely the way to go. However, as the store was closing, there were no available power packs that I could use as a charger. So I'm going to take this old retired cell phone charger, change out the connector, and uh, we'll be good to go. The instructions say that we need a power source of six volts at 300 milliamps. So let's take a look at our available power packs and see what we can find. Here's 5 volts at 550 milliamps. Well, the current is more than enough. That's a good thing. We don't need lots of current, but we have to make at least that so it'll run the charger properly and run the radio. And what about the voltage? Well, it's a three cell system uh, with uh, nickel metal hydride in there, so that works out to about 3.8 volts. So in order to charge it, we need about four, maybe four and a half. Five should get it done. And these are seldom uh, regulated very well. They're, it's not unusual to find them quite a bit more, especially uh, with no load on them. So this should work out just perfectly. We begin with a snip. We got stripped our wires back. Let's put it on our meter and see what we have. This makes just about five volts. And we've identified which wire is plus and which wire is minus. So the one with the stripe on it in our case is the positive wire. Let's unplug and solder it up. The directions also say we need Radio Shack adapt a plug size B. Well, we don't know what size that is unless you have it memorized, so we'll look it up. Wikipedia has a very nice entry on coaxial DC power connectors, and it shows you the various names and sizes and what they're used for. Adapter plug size B is 4 millimeter outside diameter and a 1.7 inside. Now, compared to buying one of these retail with sales tax and the gasoline to get there, I bought a 10 pack on eBay and had them delivered to my door. All right, I put a piece of tape on here to avoid shorts. Let's close it up, and plug in, and we'll test our voltage. Uh, we're going to need a wire because this is very small. So I'm just going to use a piece of solder and we measure. There is our five volts. We're good to go. Let's plug in the radio. And it shows that it's charging and it plays. Precipitation 60%. Tonight, mostly cloudy. There you go.